need to see Lieutenant Hughes. Oh, I don't. Please, I'm her sister. Um, the chief set a meeting with the mayor. Okay, can you help me? No, I don't. I'm really desperate. Um, yeah, what the hell? I'll give it a shot. Okay, great. Yeah, here, just... Here we go. Okay, I'm having a, a problem with somebody that my husband and I work with. Okay, um, does this somebody have a name? Spencer McKay. Oh, she's doing that new show. You're married to her co-host, right? Well, he's my co-host, too. And yes, I'm married to him. Okay. What's the problem? Well, some of my friends were a little suspicious about what Spencer was really up to, so they thought they might be able to find out a little bit more about her if they got mm -hmm. into her room at the Lakeview and looked around a little bit. Was Miss McKay aware that they were in her room? No. Okay, so we're talking breaking and entering. No, no, no. This is not about what they did. It's about what they found. Which was... A locked suitcase full of cash. I want you to find out what Spencer's doing with all that money. Why do you need to know this? I'm concerned about my husband's association with her, especially if she's involved in something shady. I will see what I can find out for you. Great. Okay. Uh, hey, I'll put in a good word for you with my sister. Oh, no. No, you really, you don't need to do that. Seriously. Don't. It's done. What's done? I went to the police. I cannot believe you really went ahead with this. I cannot believe you didn't go with me. Because it's totally insane, Katie. We'll see. You know what? I love you, but you're really starting to scare me. I mean, you're I'm, uh, you're supposed to be the one that's adult, not me. What? No, no, no. What are you doing? Look, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call Spencer ahead of time and apologize. No, you'll tip her off. About what? What did you do? You wanna see what's in my suitcase? Here. Have at it. Although, be careful where you spend it. She's probably scrambling right now to get find some sort of an explanation. Well, you know, after Katie's visit to the cops, we could be scrambling too. Why? Because if Spencer links us to her suitcase, then we could end up in handcuffs. And it'll be her words against ours. Yes. Why couldn't you let me keep at least a grand or two? Of stolen money? Yeah. That money could belong to the mob or, or some drug lord well, you know, or... You watch too much TV, you know? Well, I think it is rewarding enough that we are saving our friend. Yeah. But nothing says thank you like cash. Mm -hmm. Fake money. I mean, it's really obvious. Fake money. Where did this come from? Like your friends didn't tell you? This is obviously a huge misunderstanding. I believed you when you said you had nothing to do with them being in my room. I never told them to do anything. Oh, but they told you, didn't they? All about my big bad suitcase under my bed. Well, here's the big bad truth. It's a present from my 10-year-old nephew in Arizona. Your nephew? He's autistic. He loves to count money. He can do it for hours. What else do you want to know? All the numbers of my high school friends, where I grew up, you want to call my nephew and find out if he's really autistic? I'm, so, I'm sorry. Why should you be sorry? I'm not one stupid enough to think that we were friends. I didn't know that you thought that I was a criminal. No, I never said that. That's the way I felt when that woman cop came to question me. What? What did I do to make you hate me so much? I don't, I don't hate you. Then why did you tell your friends to spy on me and call the police? I don't know what to say, except, again, I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. Not as sorry as I am. She had the cops question her. How could you do that? I didn't know that money was fake. I never saw it. But I can't believe that Henry of all... This is not about not Henry. This is about... Money. This is about us. What do you mean? Was, you know, I mean, why are you trying so hard to get me not to trust Spencer? Because you don't want me to succeed without you? Are you serious? I wish I weren't. You really think that I'm trying to sabotage no, I, you? No, you know what? I'll tell you what I think. I think that... I think that, you know, you're resentful of the attention I'm getting from this new show. I am the 
one giving you all the attention. I've been your number one cheerleader since yeah. the, the day it started. Yes, 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 until you saw Spencer take your place in Oakdale now. Just one time. And since then, it's like you've been letting Vienna fill your head with all this paranoid garbage until I don't even know who you are anymore. Don't say Listen, that. Did I, did I do this? Seriously, did I do this? I mean, did I just mess up so bad with this Leo thing that you just don't trust my judgment this anymore? This has nothing to do with that. And I swear, I am fine with you doing another show. What do I do? What can I, what can I do to make this better? I want you to call up Henry and Vienna again. But this time, make a stick. I went to the police and I turned in my husband's co-star for having a suitcase full of play money. That was not play money. Did you even look at it? I wanted to bathe in it, remember? I don't know what you saw. Uh, it's the same thing you saw. Stacks and stacks of bills in a suitcase, all fake. No, no, then it wasn't the, it was not the same thing, Katie, okay? I touched it, I smelled it, I, I, I puckered up and kissed it, for God's sake. I was even jealous of it. Yeah, yeah, you know what? I know real Franklins when I see them. Then how do you explain the fake ones that Spencer showed us? <sighs> it's, it's, it's simple. Somewhere between the time that we found the suitcase and Spencer showed it to you, someone made a switch.